Do you guys know what the Korean version of Netflix and chill is? Ramyeon mokgu galle? Do you want to go eat some ramen? Oh, so, actually, so, it's basically saying like Netflix at the end chill. of your night. He sprung. Yeah, it's just basically saying like, hey, you know, we drank. You want to come over to my place and have a little midnight snack. <laughs> For me, if someone said that, I'd be like, sure, I'll go eat the ramen. Bye-bye. I'm thinking of some Korean dude trying to pull her and then she pulls up and then he's just trying to get naked. She, she's like, hey, where's the ramen? So South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, they're land mass is smaller, right? It's not like the states where everything's expansive. So a lot of uh, young adults live with their parents. And so when you say, let's go get ramen, so instead of Netflix and chill, like in the states where most people live by themselves without their parents, uh, in Asian culture, it's like, oh, let's go eat ramen or let's go sing karaoke. And then if things go well, you, you book out a love hotel. Uh, same thing applies in Brazil, Eastern Europe. Uh, Brazil is pretty easy. And then Eastern Europe, there's a, depending on which country in Eastern Europe, there's a learning period and a learning curve to understand the dating culture. To get to a point you're consistent with getting dates and, and really understanding how women think and what's acceptable within that culture.